acceptance. Given I have started four businesses from scratch, I know from personal experience what it's like to lay awake at night and wonder, where's that next sale coming from? Or how am I going to meet payroll this week? Or where can I find a good investor? Or what resources can I trust and use given I have a limited budget and sometimes I have no budget? I thought it would be fun to share with you my three powerful daily practices. And these practices have really helped me stay tuned in and turned on and jazzed up with my businesses. And I learned them the hard way from under the covers in bed when I was sitting there thinking, Andy, what are you thinking? Why did you start this business? Any founders relate? Oh, yeah. They really helped me, and I hope they'll help you as well. I really think they will. So, number one, feed your mind with inspirational, motivational, high octane food every single day. Start your day off removing the doom and gloom and replacing it with words of inspiration from folks that you really like. And there's plenty of them out there. There's Gary V. there's Wayne Dyer, there's Byron Katie, there's Maya Angelou, there's Les Brown, Tony Robbins. There's so many great folks out there who love to share with you some information to help you shift your mindset into where you need to be. And you really need that as a startup founder because you've got to be tenacious and courageous and persistent and resilient. And you can't do it alone every single day. So feed your brain with the great stuff. And if you have any favorites, put them into the comments section because I want to know what you're reading or listening to. And so would everybody else watching. So that would be great. Okay, so number two, move your body. Now, startup founders, we get glued to our desks and we forget that our bodies and our brains need oxygen. It's how we stay not only energized, but keep the creative juices going. Now, that may be hopping outside and going for a quick walk or down to the gym, or maybe you'd like to do what I do. I dance around the house. Come on, join me. Let's see if I can make this work for us. Okay, hold on. Here we go. How about that, huh? <laughs> I'll turn that off. But I just, you know, that's what keeps me energized. It's a quick fix to get up and dance around and gets all that oxygen to my brain. Okay? Now, if you've got something that you love to do, throw it into the comment section. We can all learn from each other. All right, so number three. Now, this is really important, okay? And that is don't resist the negative chatter in your brain. When fear and doubt show up, do not push them away. They are important. They are an important part of the startup founder's journey. So you have to, you have to listen to them. You've got to embrace them. You've got to give them a big hug. You've got to welcome them to the party. And you're probably saying, Andy, what are you talking about? And look, I know positive thinking is an important strategy, okay? But you cannot ignore your fears and your doubts because they're only going to get louder. So let me share, before you write me off as a crazy chick, let me share an image, okay? Now, I need some props, okay? Let's say you're baking the most delicious cake. In my case, it would be a chocolate cake. And what's the most important ingredient? It's baking soda. How does baking soda taste? Terrible, all right? But you got to have it. Same thing with fear and doubt. They're not fun. They bring up all sorts of stuff for us and make us not feel so good, but they're important. So my suggestion is you take that fear and doubt and you blend it into your batter of your day because it calms them down. It dilutes them. And the next thing you know, wow, they're not that loud. Another thing I recommend you do with your fear and doubt is just say, hey, come on, take my hand. We're in this journey together. And you tell them, you've got it. I've got it, guys. Not to worry. So this will calm them down and it'll help you appreciate them as the gifts they really are to your startup journey. So let's recap. My three daily practices for a more powerful, high-performing day are feed your mind, move your body, and embrace and love your fears Absolutions. and doubts. I want you to remember that you've got this startup super star, <laughs> and I believe in you, and I'm cheering you on from here. 
Oh, wishing you an Andy-licious day, and I'll see you next time. Mwah!